So what were the top food stories of 2017? Hi, it's Diane from Eating Real with Change Food. And in today's episode, we're going to just talk very briefly about some of the top stories in food from 2017. And that way we can sort of, I know it's February, but we can officially close out. We've been a little slow this year at Change Food, but we can then close out 2017 and then look to see what happens with some of these stories in 2018. So I found an article in Ad Age. Um, the link will be in the information section um, for this YouTube video. And a company called Hunter Public Relations did a survey of 1,000 adults. And what they found was that 35% of people that responded felt that food and nutrition news was the most important news, even more important than politics, which frankly surprised me. Um, so what were the top stories? Now, number one was Amazon buying Whole Foods. If you haven't heard, Amazon.com has bought the grocery store Whole Foods. Um, what is that going to do to your shopping experience? No one knows. No one knows right now. There's a lot of speculation. I think that there is agreement that retail is changing and changing a lot. There just is not agreement on exactly what's going to happen with it. So with that, um, we're going to follow that. Uh, personally, I am rooting for the food startups and the small guys, but more of that as the year unfolds. Um, the next two stop, top stories were around food safety. Now, food safety is hugely important. We are going to cover it under our food transparency topic, and that is you know, what you're told about your food. That's one of the four main topics at Change Food in 2018. So the second story was um, a food safety scare at Chipotle. I also read somewhere that how they handled it was also equally important to consumers. Under that was nearly 2.5 million pounds of Tyson chicken products being recalled. Chicken. I don't know how you feel about meat. But factory farm meat. So we will delve into the factory farm issue, um, why chicken isn't necessarily the best choice of food for you. I'm not saying you have to be a vegetarian. Um, I like a plant-based diet myself, but I see the value. And I, I do see that some people will continue to eat meat, but you do not want to eat factory farm meat and more on that. You'll have to keep watching this series or this show to find out why. Um, the next one is Trump takes aim at school lunch guidelines. School lunch is such a problem and just Trump. I don't know much about what he's done. I will find out. I will report back to you. The one thing you should know, you know, education, I believe, is, is the answer to a lot of problems. But you can't educate a child unless they're well fed, or fed at least, but well fed if you want them to do good. So one of the reasons I work in food is because I believe it's the root, not the root cause, but it is the root issue that if dealt with, it could solve so many other problems or go a long way towards solving other problems. Um, after that, ugh, I don't care about the rest of them. Restaurant chains, restaurant chains deliver food, who cares? Um, maybe that's because I live in New York City and I can get anything delivered 24 hours a day. There's a meal kit for everyone. Yeah, too many meal kits. That's my opinion. Uh, the tenth one, avocado prices stabilize. Now, why that's important to me is the fact that avocado prices stabilized and got into the top 10 food news stories of the year. That means uh, that people like me have a lot of work to do to get stuff that's really important. So... Um, once again, this is Diane from Change Food. This is one of our first uh, videos in our Eating Real with Change Food series. I'm learning as I go. I, you know, don't even, can't figure out how to do the mic yet. So I'm just talking into the phone. Um, I got comments on lighting. and You know, there's so much to learn. I'm a believer in just jumping into it and learn as you go. Feel free if you have comments. Um, I am in the middle of finalizing with my team show segments, what will be happening. So please stay with us. Subscribe. There should be a subscribe button around here at this point. Um, 
and thanks for joining us. More to come. Oh, and Eating Real with Changed Food will be put online Wednesdays at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. That is my commitment to you, even if it's just me saying hello. So thank you so much and more soon.